Hello, good morning, and welcome to your award-winning ch channel television uh, right here in the city of Lagos. So this is Sports This Morning. That's what you're watching. My name is Yemi Adebayo. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia Omolde. It's great to be here again to talk sports like we always do on your award winning station. So stay with us, sit back, relax, and enjoy all the juicy details that we have in and around the world of sports. I'm yours truly, Ayotsundi Balogun. All right, let's get the show started this morning. And uh, where do we start from? Let's talk about the FIFA presidency. Taking a look at the headlines this morning, the big question is, has Nigeria lost a chance to become a big player in the global football politics? A lot of questions this morning. And, of course, we'll be hoping to get answers to those questions. Yeah, definitely. And, of course, we'll be looking at Taekwondo again this morning. Of course, what is Chika Chukumeriji up to this time around? He's talking a whole lot about development and, of course, how happy he is for the National Sports Commission to have partnered with the foundation. Well, Jose Mourinho, uh, the man who seems to be talking and talking and talking, but it appears that the more he talks, he just keeps landing himself in hot water. What's in it uh, with the special one, as he's known as Stamford Bridge this time? Well, he's been charged with misconduct by the Football Association over his language and behavior in Chelsea's uh, recent defeat in the English Premier League to West Ham United at Optim Park. So, uh, big question. What's, uh, what's the future? I mean, what does it lie for this man? Uh, will he still remain as Chelsea manager or... If he loses again in a big game, will he be shown the exit door out of Stamford Bridge? Questions, questions for the Portuguese. <sighs> <laughs> for so many people now, it's, it's, it's becoming like you know, a, 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 a recorder, you know, uh, just keeps repeating itself. Uh, yeah. Time and again, it's looking, like a well, it's looking like a well written script. A, a lot of people say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. You know, it looks like Jose might just be on his way out mm. of Stanford. Like, and like you rightly said, I mean, if he doesn't go this way, he might go this way. If he loses, it might be sacked. If he gets into mm. more trouble with the FA, I mean, he's, he's still at Stanford Bridge, you know, he's not looking, it's really not looking good, good for him for him right now. It's not well, really well, not I think for, for Jose Mourinho, you know, when you keep talking and you keep having trouble and all that and you really can't control what you say because most times he wants to make the headlines but on Friday he says the media definitely were not going to get anything new from him again mm -hmm. no more headlines and all that from him and of course for him to have boycotted the press conference says after you know after the game and all that so he's really upset I think he can just come out and just so maybe one time just apologize to those referees because he's always hitting hard on them mm -hmm. I mean you get to lose games and all that. Referees make mistakes and all. But by the time you keep hitting hard on them mm -hmm. over and over again, it becomes more like uh, uh, well, how do I, like it's still news mm -hmm. because every Same time you song. get every time Crying you get to lose, you look for someone to actually blame, mm -hmm. and you don't do that most times. So uh, especially okay, immediately during the first half, everyone was uh, was expecting him to go talk to his players mm -hmm. and see how they can bounce back in the second half. But you went into the referee room because you had to start that? talking to well, them. The, the, and at the, the end are, of the day, we didn't see him yeah. appear. You know, we, there the are best thing was, was at the stands and all that. We so were not there. Mm. It, there we are were speculations not there. Sure. that he, he probably was invited and he got there. You know, got, got, some say he was invited. Some said he forced, we, we he forced, for him, forced himself, himself in. in and he said some things and you know, the ref just couldn't couldn't take it but but, but I, thought it, waiting for the ref I thought it was super the cool says, it was super cool in the first 45 minutes mm -hmm. i mean just looking at me sat down i mean didn't give anything away his expressions mm -hmm. were cool and that's why most of us were surprised when we didn't see him mm -hmm. come out for for the um, second half we'll, we'll wait to see we'll but definitely see the man is in trouble too, really sure <laughs> trouble uh, well, what sort of things? Well, definitely, uh, we'll be taking a look at so much. Uh, we won't want to bore you with uh, so much talk uh, 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 right about now uh, because, uh, like I said, it's going to be an interesting uh, package. But uh, we'll definitely flip over uh, for the news headlines uh, in a moment or two uh, where Emana Amawe is already standing by uh, to give us uh, all the uh, latest in and around the news world. Uh, perhaps she'll have a, a thing or two to say also about some of the things that we'll be bringing to the show uh, this morning. Great to have you, Emana. I see you're getting uh, set to tell us what's going on around the world. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Emana. Definitely, we will uh, try to serve our viewers wherever they're watching uh, within the country and, of course, outside the shows. The very best in the yep. world of sports. So please, like I said, don't go anywhere. Just stay right there and enjoy the show with us. All right? So, okay. Yemi. Feedback. Um, 
very important to us, uh, and I guess that's, that makes you an important uh, part of everything that we do uh, on the show. So get your thoughts, your views, your comments across to us, and that's it on screen, what you need to do. You can send us a mail. It is sportsthismorning at channelstv.com. On Facebook, you can get across to us also. Uh, go to channels, iPhone Sports. On Twitter, uh, we must add that that's a verified handle um, at channels underscore sports. Uh, that's the official handle. Uh, for Channel Sports. Get your views, your thoughts uh, across to us. Speak up and be heard on the show this morning. A lot, a lot of tweets uh, already coming in, but uh, we'll uh, serve that. Uh, we, we'll leave that uh, for later uh, on the show uh, so that we can react to some of those things. Uh, issues like the FIFA presidency um, in the news, uh, but uh, we'll, you know, Get to that also mm -hmm. later. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll start with basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, the news uh, okay. filtering talking about, through. Yeah. yeah, talking about First Bank. You know, you know. Okay, they have a new coach now. You remember mm -hmm. uh, their coach who has been with them for years and all that, winning so many titles with them, was asked to leave because they were reorganizing. Yes. You know, the management reorganization, mm -hmm. so to speak. So we now have a. Peter Amedu, he is now the coach. Remember, Peter Amedu was actually the one who led you know, Mark Metis to win yeah. the yeah. league just earlier this year. Well, for First Bank, I mean, the, for First Bank now, they're setting their side of mm -hmm. making the final round of the Africa uh, Women's, of the Africa Champions Cup for women. For so women. already they are in Cotonou, the Republic, where it's going to be taking place. I mean, the technical meeting is definitely going to be taking place on the 4th, and the tournament is starting on the 5th to on the 11th, of course. Mm -hmm. Is uh, zone three as where uh, the first bank. I also have another team also participating called Dolphins. Yes. Dolphins. Mm -hmm. You have to represent the winner and of course run out. Yeah. First bank happened to be so with the men as well. So with the men. So for them, I mean, Coach Amedina definitely all eyes on him because mm -hmm. he's. I mean, you've just won a title with the men's team and you're switching over mm -hmm. to yeah, the women's to replicate team. So it. Which is that not is an unfamiliar it. terrain. It's precisely for him, for him because mm -hmm. he also ha had coach. Uh, Jordan Amazon before that's uh, uh, another female team and all mm -hmm. that, but that was a long time ago mm -hmm. because he's been with the men's team. And for first bank, they won this tournament 2003 and 2009, yeah. So, two times they twice, won, twice it, champion, of yeah. course. And when you're looking at that, and you're looking at the pressure on him, so the pressure will definitely be how he can actually get them to qualify mm -hmm. and get to the finals, which is, go is going to be in Angola mm -hmm. later in the year, and also how he can also maybe make them win the league. I mean, because the, when they lost it this, year, everyone was like, with all the players that they have at their disposal, we actually have, have some players from first deporters leaving and joining first bank. You felt, okay, you have more like almost the players than the national team are there. How come so, you're not? Hmm. How come you're not perform? Maybe that yeah. was one of the reasons. Yeah, and and uh, it was also a strong, for, strong statement from the club say okay we want to qualify and we want to also want to show mm -hmm. they're one of the best teams we're mm -hmm. one of the best teams in Africa, uh, in Africa. that's why I said it's a very strong uh, statement and I hope that the results will you know uh, follow along that line uh, which we're wishing them uh, all the best mm -hmm. uh, we always love to see Nigerian teams whatever sports you know do well uh, in all competitions and you know some of the things we call Nigerian factors I don't want to start listing them <laughs> but I hope all of those things will not disturb well, yeah, definitely, because definitely. You, you want to judge a coach based on what happens yes. on the courts, on the court, mm -hmm. yeah. not, not things outside, outside the courts. Mm -hmm. and so I hope that at the end of the day, when we're looking at everything holistically, we'll be able to talk about things on the court, not, oh, uh, travel arrangement was mm -hmm. bad. Distractions unnecessary. You know, distraction yes, funds. Yeah. We're not going to be talking about that. And, you know, since you, know, you, you have also told us and we know that they have most most of the, you know, they have a large pool of the, the players, best of female players mm. uh, in, in, in the, the Nigerian country. circuit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We expect them to do well. Definitely. And if you check the last edition, 2004, they finished fourth. Mm -hmm. So for him, he just wants to surprise that feat. And if they possible, have, they have history get, get going to this. Yeah. yeah, they have a whole lot of history. And yeah, so he had history, so yeah. much on him. He says he's not under pressure. But I think when, when you're going, when, when you're taking over a club that have actually achieved everything, yeah. you definitely be under pressure for you to get good results. And exactly. I think those girls can definitely do that. Okay. All right. Let's see how it all pans out. It's all about uh, taking a new challenge for Coach Peter Ahmed. So the challenge, yes, it it's will big. come. It's big. <laughs> it's big. But, uh, you know, just keep a cool head, you know, stay focused and... Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you get the job done. That's all right. Yeah. You get the job done.